Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a bag of the day slash bag swap slash head to head comparison video. The bags that I'm featuring are the Coach Dove Gray Studio Bag with the quilted leather versus the Saint Laurent Lulu in the size small. And both of these bags I love, 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 but they have some similarities and they have some differences. So I figured we would check all those out today while I was in the process of swapping from this bag to this one. My darn dogs started barking again. That's what they do. This is the first barking of the morning when I start my video, but what can you do? We're just gonna have to soldier on and do what we do here in my closet. So this is the bag that I wore yesterday. And this is the outfit that I wore yesterday. I slept in it. I know. I'm lazy. I'm going to end up changing. And then whenever I do, I'll probably put a picture on Instagram with this bag. So the outfit that I pick is going to be to match this bag today. I haven't worn her yet. And so I'm super excited, even though I may not go anywhere. We've talked about going to see Wakanda at the movie theater. So maybe... Maybe she'll get to go there, although I may switch bags again if we go there to something that will hold some Diet Dr. Pepper bottles. Perhaps my Speedy 25, even though I carried that a few days ago. So let's go ahead and look at these up close. You can see that they are both quilted bags. I would say that this bag here has more of a coating on the leather. It's definitely a shinier finish and it feels slicker to the touch. This bag here feels more matte in comparison. It's still very smooth to the touch, but it's not as slick. And the studio bag, I believe it is Napa leather, which can be lambskin, goatskin, or calfskin. And I think that this is lambskin based on what the Coach Sales Associates have told me. They told me that whenever Coach does a quilted leather, they generally do it in lambskin because it's easier to sew the quilts in a way that they lay like they want them to lay. And as you can see, they're laying pretty well. I have a little bit of puckering right here and right here, and I've been sort of working on that. My chalk one doesn't have that at all, but I found that if I just kind of manipulate the flap in this way, sort of bending the corners down, that that spreads out that puckering a little bit without doing anything bad to the shape of the bag or anything like that. So I've been kind of playing with it in that way. I did a little bit of steaming and that definitely helped too, but I'm to the point now that I think it's probably about as good as it's going to get and that's not too bad. But I've noticed that a lot of the studio bags have a little bit of puckering right there around the sea. I even have ordered one of these before and it was worse than this one. So I am definitely happy that I have one that looks as good as it does. Now, St. Laurent, they're not perfect either. I mean, I have little things with a lot of my bags that aren't quite perfect. And I've been told by the people that work at St. Laurent that it's a hide. It's going to have blemishes and imperfections. That's what they told me whenever I got this bag and it has this little dimple right there. And it's small. You want to have your bag be perfect, but sometimes that's just not reality. And so I'm super happy with this one. I'm keeping both of these bags. This one I got from a seller on Facebook, so I'm definitely not returning it. And this one I've had for years. So let's get into the bags a little more. Neither one of them has a back pocket. This one has a continuous piece of leather. So when you open it, you get wrinkling like that. And I don't know if over time that's going to lead to permanent wrinkles on the top or not. Only time will tell. Probably it won't in my case because I just don't carry my bags enough to have that happen. This bag, however, was designed differently. It's got this piece right here for the seam. And you can see there is a little bit of wrinkling right here, but not near as much as what you just saw with the Dove Gray Studio Bag. The Lulu can be worn on the shoulder or crossbody, and I want to go ahead and show you that real quick. This studio bag came with a chain strap that was 43 and a half inches long, so a shorter crossbody length. The Lulu can be worn on the shoulder like this. If you wear the studio bag, you could shorten it up a little bit. Let me go ahead and shorten this up to the shortest setting so we can just see. 
So on the shortest setting, I would say that the Studio does hang down lower than the Lulu bag does, but it definitely can be a shoulder bag if you want it to be. For me though, I prefer to wear the Studio crossbody just like this. And when it comes to the Lulu bag, you can see that it hits lower than I have the studio bag positioned. Of course, I could lower the studio bag down to this level, but this bag I really prefer at this length. I don't mind the Lulu at this length, but I don't like to carry the Lulu crossbody. And the reason why is because even with the leather bits, the chain is touching me here or sort of in to me here and that's not as comfortable as the all leather strap that the studio bag offers so while you can wear both bags on the shoulder or crossbody i definitely prefer the studio crossbody and the lulu on the shoulder so let's look inside and i am going to go ahead and switch the items from the Lulu over to the studio bag. I have the studio bag lined with a green tag insert for the middle piece. I've decided that I really want to only use the green tag insert for the middle piece because the front slip pocket, I also have an insert for that, but I don't feel like I really need it because that's probably where I'm going to put receipts or my phone, something that will not harm the interior leather of the studio bag. This bag is 100% leather inside and out, which is something that most of the luxury brands can't claim. And Saint Laurent is no exception. It is not lined in leather. Now the inside of the flap is lined in leather. Some brands will not do the inside of the flap in leather. They'll just have some around the edges. That's usually kind of on the lower end of the contemporary brand scale. But this one does have a fully leather lined flap and this leather is very resistant to scratches. Not as much as a pebbled leather would be, but much more so than the Napa lamb type leather is. If you look inside, you'll see what I've got. I've got my pouch in the front compartment and my medicine pouch and my car keys right here. In the back compartment, I have my new Saint Laurent monogram quilted card holder slash wallet and this is brand new i've showed it in a couple of videos i've got every card that i want to carry with me inside i could definitely also fold up cash and i don't have anything in that back pocket and then in the back slip pocket here i have some checks some cash a few gift cards and that'll do it and then I've got a hand cream, my AirPods case, and I don't think I have anything in the center compartment. No, I don't. So you'll see, this is lined out with this pocket, this pocket, a slip pocket right here, and then the center zip compartment. So let's say goodbye to Miss Small Lulu in Earth Gray and hello to the Coach Dove Gray quilted studio bag. The closure on this bag is a lock that you a push button lock that you open and close like so. And I know I just said we were saying goodbye, but let's say hello again. The, the opening on this one, it's hard to open when it's empty, is a magnetic button or snap, as you can see. It closes and opens relatively easily. Some of these can be pretty tough. The best way to open them is to slide your fingers on either side of the snap. And then while pushing down on the inside, you're pulling up from the outside and that way you're gonna avoid as much strain on the leather here and on your flap. So the reason why I wanted to line this compartment of the studio bag is because the interior leather is so delicious and so smooth, I don't wanna scratch it up. And my new card holders, while I absolutely love them, they are a little bit sharp on the emblem for the Saint Laurent. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that there in the middle and I may have to do a little bit of rearranging because my biggest item is my pouch. So let me see if I can work my pouch into the bottom and then set the wallet on top. Yes, I can. My pouch is in the bottom, as you can see, and the wallet is resting on top. That's a lot more space than I thought I had. I'm going to put my cash and stuff in this back pocket. It's like a slip pocket back there, saving the front compartment for my phone. And then my other odds and ends, like my hand cream will slide into the pocket of the insert. My AirPods case will just go right down in 
the center there. My key fob will also go right down in the center there. And then the only thing left I have is this pouch. Okay, I moved that pouch over to the opposite side from the wallet. Let's see if that helps. That definitely evened it up, I think, between the two sides. Pretty darn close. Beautifully loaded and ready to go for the day, wherever I might go. I might go nowhere. You never know. We'll see. But there she is. So... This is my brand new Coach Studio bag. I may dress her up with a little chain. Let me grab that. This is the infamous Coach C chain. It's a linked chain with C's. And this came with the Dinky 19 a few years ago. Coach has come out this year with another version of this chain. It's $125. It's on their website. I can link it below. The C's are a little bit bigger and um, I would say like a little bit bubbly looking kind of like the roundness of this C and it's beautiful it's slightly shorter I would say by an inch or maybe two than this one which might be better honestly for a dangle length type chain and I've also been told that it's a little bit heavier than this one from someone who has both but if you shorten this by about this much you'll see it would be about that length and I think that that's almost better because you don't have it kind of swinging around like it is on mine. I'm tempted to get that chain and I may, if it goes on sale, or I may just do it if there's a big cash back day for Rakuten or I can get an extra percentage off or something. But that chain is calling my name even though I have this one. It's just different. And I feel like this C is kind of bubbly looking and to have the, the chain that is more like it and then also have it maybe hang more like this. It might be something I need. I don't know. What do you guys think? So this is my bag of the day, the Coach Dove Gray Studio Bag with the beautiful C-chain and the super comfortable crossbody strap. I sold the chain strap that came with this bag. It was a leather chain strap in Dove Gray. So this is the way I plan to wear it, and I may or may not wear the chain. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye. Bye.